morning everyone. I feel it's been a while since I've done a shopping haul because I've been doing my up to £30 a week in January for shopping. Uh, we're now into February and I'm kind of back on sort of normal budget I guess. Um, I've stocked up on these. We do get through a lot of these. Um, even Luke has started to drink these so he, you know, he enjoys them as well, so we're getting through twice as many. So I did get three of the toffee, th sorry, three of the toffee nut lattes. These are by Nescafe. Three of the vanilla and three of the caramel latte. Luke's favourite is caramel, I think. Now he really enjoys the vanilla, but he says he likes that one as well, the toffee one. Um... I can't tell you which is my favourite one. I really don't mind. They are just very delicious. One of them is on offer. I can't remember which one. I think it was either the vanilla or the caramel was on offer. Um, it might have been both of those. I really can't remember, but definitely one of them was. So there we go. That's the coffees. Okay, so now on to like personal and householdy bits. So I'll start here. We've got two of the Nikki uh, kitchen rolls and then some of the tall bin liners, the white ones for the kitchen bin and extra strong kitchen foil. Um, a pack of four of the Andrex uh, wipes. It was cheaper to buy them in the pack this time. I've said it several times before that sometimes it's cheaper to buy it in the pack, sometimes it's cheaper to buy them like individually as one pack um it was 125 i think per pack individually and it was four pounds for the box so yeah just have to sort of like watch little things like that um this i haven't tried this particular flavor or fragrance i should say lenore outdoorable uh moonlight lily so it'd be interesting to see what that one smells like um i've got a pack of uh, the aerial pods there, so it's a big pack, like a mega pack, 51 in there. Um, Dettol floor wipes for the bathroom. Um, some Domestos bleach for upstairs, like the loo. And some glue wipe. I need to get a white wash on today. And I noticed that some of the towels are not looking as white as they could be. So I'm going to pop some of this in with it. Um, some Paracetamol Plus. Thought I'd try these. Um, some white, distilled white malt vinegar um, for cleaning. I couldn't get any of the cheaper one. They didn't have it, so I just went with this because I need it. Um, and a lot of people put it in their washing, and I'm going to try that as well. Um, I think they put it in, like, with the fabric softener. I'm going to give it a go. And then some Lynx deodorant for Luke, the Africa one. So that is the, like, the personal bits and householdy bits. Right, so now, like, the raw meats and cooked meats, things for the fridge, cheeses, that sort of thing. Um, so I ordered these. Uh, it was two for eight pounds, and there's three chicken breasts in each, which is perfect for us, because it's three of us. So tonight I'm going to do um, chicken breast each and I'm going to just sort of slice it, put some Philadelphia in and wrap bacon around it and do it with like stir fry vegetables or something. Um, look, this um, cooked chicken is for our dogs and um, they've had <laughs> they've had a couple of slices each this morning uh, with their dry food. So I need to rewrap that now. Cheese wise, um, gone for some brie. And this is a substitute. I did order 500 grams of the grated cheese, just sort of like for ease, you know. Anyway, they've substituted it with this 400 grams of the mild cheese. Um, and then I did order this the extra mature cheddar, 750 grams. I think that was, I want to say, four pounds. Um, butter, I ordered four butters, so this is the British salted butter, so four of those. Um, bacon, I ordered two of these, these were 
uh, like on the mix and match. Um, so I got two for four pounds, and it's the flavoursome smoked back bacon. Uh, the rashers, there's ten in there, so two of those, and um, some uh, streaky bacon. They didn't have smoked, so I got the unsmoked. Uh, two packs of sausages, these were on the mix and match as well, for, so I've got two for £5, and these are the Cumberland pork sausages, delicious. The ham, we always buy, we really like this ham, the Bavarian style ham, again, this is on mix and match, but this was uh, for £3, so only two for £3, so i got two of those. So that is like stuff to go in the, the fridge or the freezer. Okay, so let's get on with the next bit. So this is like store cupboard pantry. Uh, I needed some more corn flour. I'm absolutely out of that. Some uh, tuna fish, I'm out of that. Uh, some of the little cans of the Green Giant sweet corn. I couldn't see online any of the, like, the cheaper ones this size. So I just went with this. Um, a can of corned beef. And I went for three packs of the pancake and waffle mix. I could make my own, I know. <laughs> um, this was actually on offer. I can't remember how much it was, but it was on offer. The big HP brown sauce and some of the original hot pepper sauce. Two pots of the garlic granules. And then I went for two of the... White Hovis loaves, the thick ones. There we go. The last but not least, like the fresh produce, as in like fruit, salad, veggies, that sort of thing. Um, so I've got some strong and peppery wild rocket. Love this stuff we do. Some oranges, sweet and juicy, medium oranges, um, bananas, some lemons. Uh, these were mix and match for £5. Um, I think they were with these, with the raspberries. So I got, obviously, the blueberries and the raspberries. Some strawberries. Two lots of sweet and fruity plum tomatoes. A cucumber. Some spicy and peppery cress. Um, some Brussels sprouts. Two red peppers. I did order, um, I think it was a, a yellow and a red, but they substituted the yellow for another red. So there you go. Um, some mini corn, baby corn. Two lots of mushrooms. Some of the sweet salad tomatoes there. Um, two lots of onions, so the brown and the red. Some pak choy and a cantaloupe melon. Um, and I forgot to include this in the, like in the pantry little section. So it's the uh, Canadian maple syrup. Uh, was there something else? I'm sure there was something missing. Yes, I ordered a natural Greek yogurt and they said it wasn't available. You're telling me in the whole of Asda they did not have any Greek yogurt. Mm, come on Asda, get your finger out mate. Um, anyway, my lovelies, that is it. That's my shopping. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like shopping hauls and you're nosy like me, you like to see what people buy to get a little bit of inspiration, uh, see what they maybe are cooking. If there's anything new out there or if you haven't tried something, maybe buy it to try it. Um, I love them. I, I really do like it. A good old like grocery haul just to see what's out there, you know, um, and to see what people make, as I've said. But if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to thumbs up to my video and um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already um, subscription is free don't have to pay for it at all uh, press the notification bell as well and then you will know when I've done any more of my uploads and then you can choose which ones if any you'd like to watch and I will talk to you guys all in my next video take care for now everyone bye then bye 
I almost forgot to show you this. I actually got this. This is the um, the George Home Nonstick Waffle Maker. Um, it's got a two year guarantee. It was ten pounds. I thought it was a brilliant price. Um, I have never had a waffle maker. I've had like sandwich toasters, that sort of thing. But I don't recall ever having a waffle maker, so I thought I'd get it for £10. And, you know, I've got plenty of fruit and everything to go on the waffles. Yep, so I needed to quickly show you this one as well. Mm -hmm. 